Hey everybody, got my M6A2 back from LWRC, and as it turns out, they changed the upper receiver to try and take out some of that wiggle, and cleaned it, because all I did was give it a light once over before I sent it. They were nice enough to clean it, clean the barrel, clean inside the piston, or around the piston area. They did a real beautiful job, although they sent it with about 20 gallons of oil. I used basically a roll of paper towel to get the oil off this thing, and it's still just drenched. I mean, unbelievable the amount of oil that was on this thing. So let me let this bolt forward because uh, I don't think I can show you the wiggle without that. It still is not better, for those of you who are wondering. The wiggle, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but if you could watch that rear pin. Let me see if I can get this. Hard to do. Ah, can't do it with, uh, with the phone here. See how much that pin's moving in the lower? And I can't even get all of it because I'm using one hand. See how it comes away? You see that oil squirt out of that hole? The hole in the lower receiver, and you see the oil starting to soak out of this thing just from that little bit of wiggle. They got half the half the slop out of the upper to lower. I'm mostly mostly satisfied with that it should be better especially for a gun that costs 2500 bucks see if i can show you i don't know if you can hear it it still moves considerably I don't know if you guys could hear that through the microphone. It still moves considerably. And it's not that there's anything wrong with the upper. The holes in the upper before were too large. So when the pins were in them, the thing would rock considerably. If they would have fixed this thing properly, it would have received a new lower as well. Because the holes for the pin are way oversized. And that's giving room for that pin as it sits there to wobble like this. Even though as the upper goes around the or the yeah that goes around the pin would be here it would rock like this so the upper is firm on the pins but the pins aren't firm in the lower and I called them and unfortunately I got the same guy who I got when I originally called a year ago about this when I first got the rifle and told him that I wasn't satisfied with the fit and finish who said he was going to send me a shipping label, and then the label disappeared, and I made two phone calls and never got a return phone call. The guy I called a couple of weeks ago was a, a pleasure to deal with. The other guy is kind of, kind of gruff on the phone. I'll try to be polite. And uh, started spewing some crap about its mill spec and this and that. And Well, I got a buddy who was an armorer for the Army for eight years or so, and... Uh, I, I doubt he'd say this is mill spec. He's a good friend of mine. He's going to be over here later today, and I'm sure he won't. This thing still rocks. It's just just good enough. Just. And it's still the crappiest AR-15 I own for fit and finish. Or fit, not finish. Finish is great. Uh, it still moves. The upper in the lower still moves this way. Not just this way. So that really bothers me. And I don't know if they didn't replace the lower because it's the serialized portion. And that would have gotten into some law or some, some logistics that I'm unaware of on their end. But as far as I'm concerned, they can scrap this lower. Give me a new one. My buddy has an FFL. we got the security business. I can send it to him, and I'll get it from him with a background check like a new rifle. And this one can be destroyed because for that kind of money, this thing's a piece of crap. I can build a better fitting rifle for 600 bucks. And the only thing I won't have is that gas piston. 
and I can pick all these parts up later for way less than it cost me to have them put on this gun stock. So, so far, I'm un unhappy. I called back to let them know that I figured they, in my opinion, the repair that they gave me was a half measure at best. And he started to quote the paperwork they sent me with the return gun, which says meets mill spec. So I told him I'm unhappy. He said he'd send me another shipping label. That was yesterday. And uh, it is now 10.30 in the morning the next day. So it's been 26 hours since I spoke to the guy. And there's no shipping label to my email. So again, I was saying before that the customer service is a pleasure to deal with on the phone. They just never had any results or a follow through. I was being polite because that first guy was not a pleasure to deal with on the phone, but he said he'd get it done. He never got it done. Two phone calls not returned. Then the, the second guy was a pleasure to talk to on the phone. He was very helpful, got me a shipping label. My rifle got in, and it is mostly better. But the fact is, you know, it isn't right. And their motto was when good to go isn't good enough or good enough isn't good to go. This is far from either of those. So... The guy that I'm talking to starts trying to quote mil-spec. Well, hell, if I wanted a mil-spec, I'd have built it myself out of surplus parts or went to CMP and got a beater. I'm buying a gun at $2,500 because I want it to be better than that. And that was a sorry cop-out and a crappy excuse, if you ask me. So at this point, again, unsatisfied, and he said, well, the rifle functions. And, well, no crap, man. I could have told you that, and I praised the rifle for how it functions when I sent it in and thanked you for your time. Don't try to tell me it functions so it's okay. You're trying to tell me this barrel has the best accuracy out of all the ones on the market. It's up there with a Noveski, but uh, the upper isn't fitted to the lower so good, and I don't care what the marksmanship team says in the Army. It will affect your accuracy. So we went round and round, and I will let you guys know if they try to make it right again. But at this point, LWRC customer service and repairs. Sorry, failure. Sorry, failure. And I'll be happy to recant that if they can get this taken care of. And I'll make 10 videos to that effect. I mean, everybody gets something that needs to repair once in a while. My, my F-150 is in the shop right now. Nothing comes out perfect every time. I'll be happy to say, if they can get this fixed, that this was just one of those episodes and the one gentleman in customer service should be removed and the other guy promoted to take his job. But at this point, it's, uh, it's a sorry failure. Other than that... If you want to talk about function and finish, this gun is an amazing piece of kit. But as far as the fit between upper and lower, it's a sorry piece of junk. All right. Hope you guys uh, don't have these issues with your LWRCs. And if you're thinking of getting one, again, the rifle functions great. It comes with quality parts on it. The piston is awesome. It'll fire anything. You'll probably love it. Pick through them very well if you have choices and get your best one because at this point, it doesn't look like the factory is going to make it right if you don't. All right. Thanks for watching.